Are we live? Are we live? We're live! Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Susanna Kennedy and I see there are people tuning in on Instagram, on Facebook, in Zoom. I'm so excited to be here with you today. It is always such a privilege to join you guys and to connect with you all and to expand love on this planet. Um, hello, Sabrina. Hello. Who's that over there? Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello, GB. Hello, Kandre. Hello, Hupta. Hello, She. Hello, Jay. Hello, Chantal. Hello, Sandy. Hello, beautiful community. I'm so, so happy to be with you here today. I had somebody send me a message, Anita, hello Anita, hello Tessa, hello Teresa, hello Pill. hello David. <laughs> um, I always love to say, where in the world are you tuning in from, my beautiful people? I love sharing that with everyone because we really are a global community and um and I love to I love to celebrate that we're a global community. It's one of the real positives I think that came out of COVID was that we no longer felt like we were just like you know our country or even our city all of a sudden it was the whole world that was a community all together and I find that so beautiful it has given us access to the world in a completely different different way and to a global community that we would not otherwise have the opportunity to be a part of. So we've got Ireland tuning in, we've got Sweden tuning in, we've got Sydney tuning in, we've got Cape Town, South Africa tuning in. You see how beautiful is this, guys? It's so, so wonderful. All of us here with the same mission to expand love on this planet. And um, today's session is going to be quite a mix of things. So <laughs> I want to prepare you guys because there's quite a lot that I want to get through with you guys. Today is a lunar eclipse and it is a super moon. And I want to tell you a little bit about the energy that this holds and that this brings for us and the opportunities that it brings for us. I also want to tell you about... Well, I want to speak to you on authentic resilience, um, on a personal tragedy that happened for me yesterday, um, but I'm going to hold that to the end of the session. And the reason why is because it's so important for me that you understand that we can have an immense tragedy happen in our lives and we can still show up with grace and with love and we can still be the light that we wish to see in the world. And this is authentic resilience. And I really want you guys to get that, that although my heart is broken in a lot of ways right now, as I'm speaking to you, I'm still here and I will still be the light for you. And I will still be the light for myself. And I will still completely trust that the universe has a greater plan that I am not fully aware of and that every single thing that happens is coming to me in one way or another as a gift. And I'm telling you this because I know so many people are going through real challenges right now. And sometimes when we're going through these real challenges, it's hard for us to see the light, right? And I want you to know there's always light. There's always, always, always light. So I will share that with you at the end of the session because it's really important for me that you also focus on the beauty that is available to you right now um, because there is so much beauty available to you right now. Truly, truly, truly so much beauty, even to me. I see the immense beauty that is available to me right now, and I'm so grateful for it. Um, I know that there's a lot of people that are joining in on Zoom as well. Guys, please remember that if you are joining on Zoom, I can't let you in once I start channeling um, because I'm... Phew, I'm somewhere else. I'm like, I'm I'm channeling. So for those of you that are joining, um, you know, on, on Instagram, I know it's a lot easier for those of you joining on Zoom. Um, it, I cannot 
allow you to enter once I am channeling. Um, we, okay, I did say all of those. And thank you so much, Mark, for your kind words and Anita. Um, I want to start with speaking about this immense moon that is happening at the moment and just energetically what has been created and structured for this opportunity to shift years in an immense state. So the decisions, the the choices, the thoughts that we emotionalize, the way in which we decide to respond right now is going to set us up for not only the next six months, but also on very thin timeline, because I see these like thin lines um, going forward all the way to 2029, guys. So that's that's quite a big chunk, right, of time that we can really make incredible decisions now that can affect us all the way until then. So I'm telling you this because it's super important. We have the absolute when I say portal, just so that everybody understands, because I know some people who don't understand what a portal is, it's literally just an opening of energy. It's a opportunity that is created energetically where we can make different decisions that will literally allow us to either jump timelines or shift the way our entire future looks because of just the decisions we're making now are supported energetically by planetary situations, um, higher beings, etc. And right now, there's one of these beautiful portals available. So it's it's literally a doorway, a, an access point, right? They say when um, a door closes, a window opens, a doorway is open for you right now. And I want you to really understand that this doorway is profound and holds um, a lot of energy, like really a lot of energy. And the choice points that I'm being shown at the moment are something that happened to you a long time ago that made you decide that this is who you were in the world or that, that this is what defined you in this world there's an opportunity right now to go actually no, that maybe that was until now and right now that's no longer my story that's no longer my framing of who i am what i am in this world and right now i'm going to choose to see myself differently see the world differently and i'm going to literally shift my entire future because of this decision I'm happening right I'm having right now so it's something that possibly happened to you when you were young or that made you think oh that's who I that defines me now right going forward and when I had these messages, because, you know, I get these messages, <clears throat> they've been so solidified by what happened yesterday to me. And so I will share that with you guys at the end. But what I want you to focus on right now is that it has absolutely been confirmed for me in so many ways that this is the opportunity for you. And so my invitation today is that you take a moment to really tap into yourself and what it is, that thing that ha has never actually served you fully. And maybe you have made the best of it, but now it's just enough. It's enough. And it's time for you to decide what you are going to be in this world going forward. Does this make sense to you guys? Is anybody resonating with this? Has anything recently happened for you to kind of go, oh, do I think of myself that way? Do I see myself that way? I've been hanging on to this. Okay, I'm getting yes and hearts flying up everywhere. 
Um, so, so that's great. I'm so glad that this does resonate with you. I am going to take you guys into a process in a little while, but I want to give you some feedback from this weekend um, or from the past 10 days. Um, totally resonates with me 100% yes. Okay, confirmation, guys. This is how the universe speaks to us, right? This is how our um, divine team and spirit guide speaks to us is these things come up and then the world echoes them back at you and says, pay attention, pay attention. It's time for you to shift this aspect of yourself and step into a more empowered, more loveful version of yourself, right? So yay, yay, yay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. Um, so this, this past 10 days, um, yeah, it's been 10 days, almost two weeks. Tomorrow will be two weeks. I have gone back to Johannesburg. Now, Johannesburg is the city I was born in and I grew up in and, um, and I've always loved, oh my gosh, guys, if you have not been to Johannesburg to meet the people, that is the thing you need to go for. The people in Johannesburg are just so freaking cool. I mean, I've traveled all over the world and the people in Johannesburg are so, so freaking cool. So I want to say, first of all, thank you to the people of Johannesburg for welcoming me so beautifully back into their arms and into their community. It was so wonderful to connect with everyone. Like I literally posted on Instagram, I'm in Joburg and friends from like nowhere, just like popped up that I hadn't seen for ages. And it was so wonderful. And I, I was working really hard this week. So I didn't get to connect with a lot of people, but I did get to connect with some, and that was wonderful. And then I've spoken on stage in front of 4,000 people before, but I've never taught spiritual medicine and I've never spoken about this journey that I am busy with now, my true purpose of being, which is now. And Brian Welsh and Saj and the whole Real Success team, they are, they're brilliant at bringing these massive, right, events that allow people to come together and really um, invest in themselves in so many different ways. And, but it's really aligned with success, right? Um, and so there's a lot of things around wealth and money and um, second business ideas and things like that. And I was so thrilled to be invited as somebody who was just vibrating at a completely different frequency to, um, to what was on stage. The thing I love about the people that they've chosen, Real Success, Brian, Saj, that whole team, Lisa, um, Gerard, all of them, um, is that they have their heart in their right place. So even these guys that are there, these business men that are there and speaking about how to create wealth, how to create different streams of income, they so authentically want to empower people like it's not just a like money making thing like they literally so authentically want to empower people that i'm like their cheerleader i mean i met some people for the first time this weekend but a lot of them are my friends that i've literally been cheerleading for for years you know and um scott pickin was on stage guys and he he invited me to speak with him because um, we ended up having an interview. You can catch it on the Real Success page. And he was like, yes, these are the kind of questions I need asked. And he almost, and Scott, don't kill me for sharing this, but he almost started crying at the end of his presentation because, and this is a big guy. He's like a rugby dude, you know? And um, because he just genuinely wants to empower people financially. Like it's his genuine wish. And when we first met, he was literally, um, you had, you needed like a hundred thousand K to invest in his, this idea of his, that he was getting going. Now you need a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. No, no, $10. What am I talking about? $10, $10. And so he's trying, he's doing his best in order to make it accessible for as many people as possible. So this is the heart of the men that like I was dealing with and being the only woman to speak alone 
on stage at this event was just such a huge like like honor first of all and then getting the audience respond they they loved it it was so wonderful and it felt so good there was such a connection and a rapport and then coming off stage to this little ocean of my men standing there like celebrating with me it was just it felt so beautiful and i just want to say thank you to sag to paul o'mahoney to robin banks to kurbis to brian to um to scott to all of them they were just john lee all of them were just standing there like ah, and it was so wonderful and i thought about how much i celebrate other people and how i've come so far because i really was excited for me guys <laughs> like i was like yeah you did that and it felt really really great and i'm sharing this because i'm really hoping that this inspires you guys to look at your own lives and look at what you can celebrate in your own lives please you need to celebrate yourselves you need to look at what you have achieved and this and i'm getting downloads again now this is so important right now right right now because we're going to be looking at that thing that that decision that you made once upon a time that framed your life in a specific way that you have felt has not served you for such a long time. And yet, look where you are today. Look at the beautiful things that you have created for yourself, for your families, for your communities. I want you to have balance in this process of understanding how far you have come despite all of the challenges that have been placed on your path, right? It's so important to see that. Never would I have thought, <laughs> never would I have thought coming from this little girl whose mom used to literally, she was so poor, she used to cut sausages into a pot of rice to give the rice flavor, yes, Vienna, little vegetarian baby now, but that, you know, she used to do that to make things beautiful for us, who was completely dyslexic at school and saw freaking auras and beings and things. And, and so was very distracted, would end up on stage in front of thousands of people, teaching them how to expand love in their lives. Right? Who would have thought? that I would ever be able to serve in this way. That I would overcome all the, the challenges that I have along the way. And yet here I am. And here you are, my beautiful community, doing beautiful things in your own right, in your own lives. So can I ask each and every one of you to promise me that today you will not only think of this thing that you are releasing and let it go, that you make that commitment to yourself, but that you will also take some time to celebrate some of the beauty that you've brought into the world, some of the different ways that you've allowed this world to be expanded with love because you are in it. Each and every one of you. How lucky is this world to have each and every one of you in this world? I mean, so wonderful. Yes. Okay. So can I have a hell yeah? And then we're going to go into our spiritual medicine process. Yes. Hell yeah. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Beautiful. So let's land energetically after that. And I invite you all to just take a beautiful deep breath in. Filling yourselves up and allowing your hands to just land and rest on your laps, palms facing up. If you're sitting in a chair, allow your feet to be rested on the ground. If you're sitting cross-legged, that's fine. Imagine a beautiful string of 
golden white light from the base of your spine pulling up through your spine all the way up to the crown of your head holding you there upright beautiful and take another deep breath in and this time i want you to picture golden white light coming up through your nostrils out the crown of your head pulling this golden thread and your light going up beyond the ceiling of the roof that you are in under going up into the sky past the birds and the bees past the clouds through the earth's atmosphere shooting up pulling that air and shooting up past the planets the moon the sun the stars the galaxies shooting way up turning your eyeballs up towards your third eye and your tongue up against your palate and you reach finally the beautiful golden white light of absolute unconditional love of pure divine consciousness of all that is the essence that connects us to all And as you do, this beautiful golden white light starts coming down, pouring down past all the galaxies, the stars, the suns, the moons, the planets, down towards the earth, through the earth's surface, past the clouds, into the roof of the building that you're in, through the ceiling, and landing above the crown of your head. And as it does, it turns into a gorgeous golden white lotus flower of light spinning on the crown of your head, spinning, 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 activating your highest consciousness, activating now divine connection to all that is, to yourself, to the universe, and then this beautiful golden white light starts pouring into your head, pouring into your brain, filling up your entire head. And as it reaches your third eye, it activates your third eye. And a beautiful golden white lotus flower of light appears on the back of your head, spinning, 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 clearing your third eye, that you may perceive the world and all that is in the universe in truth, in clarity, in power. And then this beautiful golden white light starts spinning and going down into your mouth, all around your ears and down into your throat. And as it lands in your throat, it activates now your throat chakra, the, the energy point there and a beautiful golden white lotus flower of light starts spinning on the back of your neck, clearing your throat, allowing you to speak from a space of truth, from a space of light, from a space of clarity, empowered and sovereign in yourself. And this beautiful golden white lotus flower of light, oh my goodness starts going down your shoulders, going down your body, going down into your hands and two globes of gorgeous white light appear on the palms of your hands. And these two beautiful globes of golden white light You can feel them. You can feel the tingling sensation or the heat or the cool air, the pulsing, whatever it is, is perfect. 
And when you're ready, you raise these two globes of golden white light that are in the palms of your hands and you pull them together into your heart center and you see this beautiful massive globe of golden white light floating in front of your heart center and you pull your hands apart a little bit and together and feel the magnetic field that is held between your hands this beautiful chi energy this life force And then pull this beautiful big ball of golden white light your heart center and as you do a gorgeous lotus flower of golden white light appears behind your heart spinning spinning on your back and you open your heart up to love you open your heart up to compassion you open your heart up to courage and this beautiful golden white light starts pumping through your veins from your heart into every single cell in your entire body. This beautiful golden white light of unconditional love. And as this golden white light goes down into your chest area, your solar plexus, your lungs breathe in this beautiful unconditional love. You exhale it out and a beautiful lotus flower of light appears behind your lungs, spinning, 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 allowing you to inhale and exhale everything that life brings to you. And it flows down then once more into all of your beautiful essential organs, into your digestive system, Beautiful, filling up your pancreas, your liver, your gallbladder, your kidneys. Everything is being filled with golden white light. And we activate now your sacral chakra. And behind your stomach, a beautiful lotus flower of golden light starts spinning, spinning, spinning. And this golden white light keeps going down and into your base chakra, your root chakra. And as it does, it goes down your legs into the tips of your toes. And a beautiful golden white lotus flower of light appears beneath you. You're sitting on a beautiful, large lotus flower of golden white light. And these roots start going down into the earth beneath you, past the crystals and the bugs and the beetles, through the rich soil, down into the rock, into the crystalline grid, and deeper still, until it reaches the core of the earth, this beautiful red molten lava that is spinning, spinning, spinning. And this golden white light starts dancing with this red molten lava spinning, spinning, spinning. And it creates this beautiful rose gold light and shoots back up through all the earth, the crystals, the beetles, the bugs, all the way past into your feet, up like roots coming up through your body, up into your heart center, right up through you, the crown of your head, back up to all that is connected and back down again all the way down to the core of the earth and then shooting back up again and then back down again. Good. And this time when it reaches your heart, when it comes back up, there's this beautiful explosion of golden white light that explodes out from your heart center. You are a star being born, expanding out beyond your room, beyond your country, beyond this planet beyond the solar system, beyond this galaxy, expanded now throughout time, space, reality. From stardust to stardust, we are stardust and stardust we will always be. We are connected to everyone and everything through love, through unconditional love that is the very fiber of our being 
these tiny little particles of energy that are unconditional love. And within this expanded space, I call upon all of our divine teams, our spirit guides, our spirit animals, the spirit of the earth, the sea and the sky, all of the angels of the higher realms and the ascended masters to hold space now. And I pull down a golden pyramid of light, a beautiful spiral of violet light and a bubble of ultraviolet blue light all of these shape forms are porous and only that that loves us unconditionally are allowed within this space. All else is removed now across all time, dimension, space and reality <sighs> on all levels and layers of our being, past, present and future across all timelines. Beautiful. And within this space, I invite you now in the safe, safe, sacred space to picture that thing that happened. Picture it in front of you. And feel where it is in your body as well at the same time. it's sitting in your body in a specific place, you can grab onto it, you can scoop it out, you can place it in front of you floating in the air. It's floating in the air because you're releasing attachment to it. You can scoop it out again if there's any residue left and place it in front of you floating in the air. Some of you might need to actually brush your entire bodies. And if that's the thing that you need to do, do it now. Brushing everything as if it's just this comb of light that is taking everything that you've been carrying out and just brush it out. I want you to give this event or sequence of events A shape a color a smell taste and a sound Take a deep breath in and allow yourself to just feel whatever it is that you need to feel right now to release this from you. Allow yourselves to feel any emotion that comes up. The more you allow yourselves to feel this emotion, the deeper the connection to this emotion, the more we can purge this emotion and the emotional connection to this thing now. So I invite you to dig deep, to truly allow yourselves to go there, to truly connect with whatever it is that this situation brought up for you. Feel it fully, allow it to completely be in full existence in every single cell that it needs to exist in. Breathe it in and allow yourself to feel it even deeper and breathe it out. Breathe it in 
and allow yourselves to feel it even deeper and breathe it out. Good. And one more time, breathe it in and allow yourselves to feel it in absolute fullness now. Hold it up there. Feel it in fullness. Beautiful. And exhale it out. And as you exhale it out, I want you to put your hands on your heart. And I want you to repeat the words, I love you, speaking to yourself. I love you. I'm sorry. Forgiving yourself now for bringing this experience into being in order for you to expand. Although you know it was necessary for you to be who you are today, what a difficult thing to bring into your life. So say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I know that was so hard. Forgive yourself now for bringing that experience into your life, for agreeing on a soul level to bring this experience into your life. Agree to forgive yourself now, to release now. <sighs> Breathe it out. And say thank you. Thank you for the growth. Thank you for the learning. Thank you for the expansion. Thank you for making me who I am today. Thank you for arming me with courage, with strength, with resilience, with compassion, with an understanding and perspective that you would never have had. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And take a moment if you want to repeat that a few more times in your mind's eye in yourself, in your heart, in your soul, then do. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And as you repeat it, I want you to see that thing, the object that you created, start transforming. It starts transforming before your very eyes as you keep repeating the words, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And as you repeat it, this thing starts shifting, starts changing. And as you do this beautiful shower of white light, pure white light, pure unconditional love starts pouring on you and starts pouring on this object and starts melting away the version of you that was and starts melting away this object melting it away you are melting away the version of you that was is melting away with each droplet it is being transformed into light into unconditional love everything is being melted away i love you i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you i'm sorry please forgive me thank you repeating those words connecting with those words holding those words i love you I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. And as you allow this all to melt away, you notice that a different shape has appeared floating in front of you. This shape 
has a different color. This shape has a different fragrance. It has a different taste. It has a different sound. This shape is also telling you that it represents something. Something that allows you to contextualize this new version of yourself in a completely different way. Beautiful. Allow that to sink in and take this beautiful shape that has appeared and place it into your heart center as a gift from the universe, from yourself, to your present and your future self. And see this shape expanding within you expanding and expanding into your whole body so that you are embodying this feeling, this new version of you, that you smell a different way, that you taste a different way, that you sound a different way, that you move a different way, that you make decisions in a different way from this moment onwards. And so it is, and so it is, and so it shall be. And within this moment, you feel the strength, the courage, the comfort, the fortitude, all that you need to step forward on your path as a sovereign being who is in alignment with their truth. who lives from a place of pure, unconditional love and holds you, holds you as this beautiful, magical, important, valued, incredible human being. And as you feel that vibrational frequency from your heart center expanding out beyond your room, beyond your building, beyond your neighborhood, beyond your continent, beyond this planet, throughout all time, space, reality, affecting and transforming all that surround you, affecting and transforming all that is within you. And so it is, and so it is, and so it shall be. This new version of you shall step forward today, now. And then slowly, your conscious self starts pulling back, coming back from all the galaxies, coming back towards our galaxy, coming back towards our planet, coming back to your neighborhood, coming back to the room that you're in, coming back into your physical body and place both your hands on your heart center. Take a deep breath in in gratitude
thanking the collective, this beautiful collective of beings that you are sharing this space with, that have held space with you today, thanking the divine teams, the spirit guides, the spirit animals, all of the beings of light, the angels from the higher realms, the ascended masters, Thanking each and every one present that has held the space in unconditional light, love and transformation. Thanking yourself for showing up today. Bow your head in gratitude, hands in prayer position on your third eye. And back to center. And when you're ready, you can start wiggling your toes, rolling your shoulders, coming back into the space. When you are ready, open your eyes. And let me know how you guys are doing. Mm. That was deep. Yeah. For those of you who are willing, please do share what happened for you there. Please just write a note for me that I can get some feedback on how that resonated with you, how that landed. I really appreciate it. I know that was big. It was a really big, deep one. Those of you on Instagram, I have 4% left on my phone, um, so I might lose you. Um, wow, I feel so light and lots of hearts going up on Instagram. Good. I'm so glad that you feel light. Were you guys able to go there emotionally? I also would love to know that because I know that that makes a huge difference when you are able to go there emotionally. And if you weren't, I really, really encourage you to do the process again. Um, I will supply a replay of this um, to my database and you guys can also have a look um, on my link tree and I will pop up a replay there as well. Tears, powerful, deep release. Thank you as always, Susanna. Such a pleasure, who was that? Hey Burgess, thank you. Um, hello Susanna, I only joined towards the end, beautiful. Would it be possible to receive a replay? Yes, yes. Um, I will I will send one to the database and I will also um, put the link in, in Instagram and Linktree. Thank you so much, such a pleasure, such a pleasure. So powerful, I needed to connect with this again, thank you overwhelming sense of love and appreciation thank you Susanna perfect beautiful okay good wonderful um so I promised to tell you guys what happened for me yesterday um and to be honest it's literally like my worst nightmare come true um I've shared before that um, I was sexually abused when I was little um, and I don't know if I have shared that it was by my biological father. I have a dad who is not my biological father who became my dad in my 20s, um, in my early 20s um, and he is the best man that anybody could ever wish for as a dad but my biological father sexually abused me. Um, and was physically abusive to my mom. And that's why they got divorced. Uh, he has kidnapped a little girl. 
and she's six years old and he is missing with her and for me to hear this news is just devastating as you can imagine um I am going to share with you guys um, on a post and in my next email what she looks like and what he looks like now because I um, I don't I I don't have I haven't seen him in years um, I have to find her. I have to get her back to safety. Her name is Eva. She's six years old. I'm trying so hard to open something on um, on my desktop so I can show you guys, but it's not wanting to <laughs> work for me. Um, her, her name is Eva. She's six years old. Um, she was, she is my she was his domestic worker's daughter and um and can you guys see her there um and um his domestic worker has worked for him for 10 years um when Eva was born she nursed her for a while and then um he insisted that she move into the house with him just the daughter not the mother and so she's been living with him since she was a baby with the domestic worker, her mother, Laura, um, living at the house, but not inside the home. And when Laura wanted to take um, Eva back to Malawi to go and see their family, he said she was not allowed to take Eva anywhere. And um, so then Laura ended up taking him to court and the court obviously ordered him to give Eva back to her mother and he disappeared. And that was on the 12th of July. Um, the authorities have um, told Interpol about this, so he can't leave the country, um, but he is gone with this child and I need to get her to safety. And so I need your help. I need each and every one of you to please help me share this message far and wide so that we can find him. She's been missing now for two months. Apparently, um, he has been seen in KZN and in, um, in the Durban area. Um, but that has also gone flat. So I'm going to be sharing this and I'm going to be putting this picture out as much as possible on social media because the police had given up hope until I phoned yesterday. I've spoken to the police officers. I've spoken to the mom. I'm in contact with everyone. The contact details are there on the screen. I will post this on Instagram as well. I will also send this in my newsletter. Please help me find this child because I feel like this is my opportunity to save her from what was happening to me and I need your help in order to do that and um if anybody knows any press if anybody is connected to any groups if anybody has any way <clears throat> of helping to spread this word I need you to please 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 help me to just find him and find her as quickly as possible. Um, I never reported the abuse because I only remembered it when I was an adult. And at that stage, I had no evidence to back me. I had nothing. <clears throat> He's now kidnapped a child that he can go behind bars. That That is an actual criminal offense. So please, with all my heart, spread this far and wide. For those of you on Instagram, I'm so sorry. I know that, I don't know if you can even see what is happening. Um, but I will share it. And 
<clears throat> last night, I, because I only found out yesterday, um, just before I took off from Johannesburg. And I must say, I was in shock for a while. Like, just how can this be a reality? How can this be happening? And then um, last night, I just allowed myself to just feel the immensity of it. And I sobbed so hard that I feel like I was not only sobbing for this child, but for me, my inner child, for what I went through and the understanding of the immensity of all of this. And I'm sharing this with you guys, not only because I have to find this child, but because I want you to know that although this is happening and my heart is aching and I am angry and all of the things that you would expect someone to be experiencing when going through this, I'm okay. Like I have conviction, I have determination, I'm still able to show up as the light that I believe I'm here to be in this world. And I'm showing you this because whatever you're going through, you can do the same if you choose to. And I invite you to not be swallowed by the pain, by the loss, by the grief, by the anger. Don't allow those things to swallow you up. Maintain your love, maintain your light. Everything that he has done, I had forgiven him for. And I honestly have, because I wouldn't be who I am today without it. And I know that only hurt people hurt people, but I can't allow him to continue hurting people. That's a difference, right? And so I have to stand up now. I have to stand in my strength. And I'm, my family is being amazing. They are being incredible. And my friends as well. And I just want to say to each and every one of you, please join me. Please support me in this. And I'm sending you so much love and light wherever you are in your own journey, with your own struggles. And as always, I will continue to show up for you as best as I can. And that, that's it for today's session, guys. I know this was a lot, but I had to share it with you. And I'm so grateful for you being here today and for the opportunity to connect with you. And I know that this is our time to shift things. This is our time. I'm no longer a little girl who was abused. I'm a strong, powerful force for good in this world. And it doesn't matter who I came from or what I came from. It is my choices, my decisions, and my intentions that shape my life. And it's so important for you to understand that it is exactly the same for you. Our past does not define us. Our past allows us the opportunity to define ourselves. I hope this resonated with you. I'm sending so much love. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your care. And yeah, big love guys. Thank you. Bye for now. Oh, next week, same time, same place. Tell your friends. Okay, donate now. Okay, bye. Like, comment, share. Okay, bye.